it's time to cook something paleo perfect. It's summertime and things all over the country are heating up, especially right here in Southwest Florida. So we're gonna do a simple pan seared salmon. We're gonna serve that with watermelon gazpacho. And the thing I love about this recipe, the gazpacho can be a first course, or as you'll see, it's definitely gonna be a full meal by using the gazpacho as a base, as a sauce, so to speak, light and healthy. Whenever I'm cooking something like salmon, I pour olive oil on it and I let it sit for about five minutes. What that's gonna do is just add the moisture. Skin on, because again, that's gonna hold in the moisture. Nice sizzling pan, there you go. And you don't need oil in the pan, but you've gotta get that pan up to a, to a smoke point. Let me put on that exhaust pan. Now let's come over to the blender. I love when you can cook in a blender in the summer. There's no turning on the oven. So you can either use the whole tomato, but you know the grape tomatoes are coming in so beautiful right now that I decided to use them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just quickly press it on puree. That's going to give the tomatoes an extra start. See that? See how they're just, we want it a little bit chunky. Now remember, watermelon is 99.9% .9 water, right? So you're not going to need to puree it as much. But this is a gorgeous, seedless watermelon. And I should mention, these ingredients are brought to us by Fresh Market. So here we go. About two cups worth. And what I do is I'll just cut the watermelon the night before. And it's this juice right here that can go right in. Don't worry. So what we're also going to do is we're going to save some watermelon for garnish. So I'm taking a look at that salmon and I'm watching. Do you get too much white on the salmon? If you ever watch a show like Top Chef, those chefs get in trouble if it's too white. That means the pan was actually too hot. This is doing really well. I'm starting to see a slight frost. I'm taking a peek. Oh, it's looking great. I'm going to give it about 30 more seconds on that side. Beautiful, huh? Okay, back to the blender. A quick puree. Oh my gosh. Now the key is to get this really cold. Now we're going to add the pop. We need some serrano pepper. A half of one and another cooking tip is always use your gloves because you don't want to rub your eyes after you do something like that. Just a little bit of olive oil. And I have some English cucumber skin on. And the English cucumber is not going to be as bitter. If you're using a regular cucumber, I do want to tell you to take the seeds out. Because that's where you get that kind of raw bitterness to it. Okay, again. You see where I'm going. This is so easy, right? So, people always say to me, I can't cook fish at home. I don't know how to cook fish. Well, now you do. Look how easy that was. Simple ingredients. This again, the skin is going to crisp up. Now I love salmon skin. You spend a lot of money ordering that at a, at a Japanese restaurant, so I prefer to keep the skin on. But if you don't, it'll peel right off in just a few moments. Last splash. We're going to add a little fresh dill, salt and pepper. Oh, I just love this. Now you'll notice that if you're searching around the internet, some recipes for watermelon gazpacho actually call for a slice of bread in it. And that makes it just a little bit thicker, a little taste. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. So, look at this bright color. There we go, right in the bowl. That's gonna either be our first course, as I said, or, oh my gosh, this is perfect. And notice I didn't make it too, too thick. Now we're going to garnish that with some cucumber, with some watermelon. Now if you're eating gluten-free but you're not necessarily paleo, a little feta cheese is just really nice to put in there and some fresh dill. That is just in itself is going to be wonderful. You could even put in a half a shot of vodka. That's right, a good quality icy cold vodka. Now look at this fish. This is going to go right on here, right into that dish. We're going to put some cucumbers. We're going to put some more watermelon. Very vibrant. And whether you're paleo or gluten-free, you have the perfect clean summer dish. I call it paleo perfect.